How's it going guys? Welcome back to the JNK Racing YouTube channel. This video is probably the first one we've made in a while. Um, or we just posted one recently maybe. We've been really bad with making videos over the summer here. We are really, really trying to get back into it again. We uh, really got messed up with the whole virus thing. It really shut us down. Uh, my friend's stepdad, you know, he was worried about the virus. We had a lot of state shutdown stuff here in New York. So we are going back into it again. It is snowing here in western New York. And uh, yeah, that sucks, but here it is. You know, my Raptor 700R, still running good, pretty much stock-ish. I mean, I still got, you know, the better air filter and the tuner and the dual exhaust and stuff like that. And it's running mint, it's quick. As far as we can tell, on the last Majestic run and at J&K Day, which was two Sundays ago, I think, I beat the Banshee, which is the fastest quad besides this. So, this thing is still holding up to its name, and I'm happy because it cost me way too much fucking money. So, we're doing pretty good on this, though. But, and for the sake of everything, what it has is gonna, never going to be enough. So, I'm actually thinking about doing a bunch of stuff to this this winter. I just finished my LS Trans Am, my 85. That's, uh, we just got that done this year, so that took up a lot of my time and money. So, uh, yeah, but that makes around 540 at the crank and 420 at the wheels, and I am... Damn well happy with that compared to the 305. So, uh, but yeah, back into the Raptor. So you'll see on the channel in the next few weeks, the next few couple days even, AJ is starting his YFC build now because he blew out his rings after the big board rebuild last year. So because he's doing that, he's obviously going to do some porting and stuff because you don't pull stuff apart for no reason. So because he's doing some porting, he should be towards up in the 60, 65 course range. So... Probably the fastest, This will, it'll beat this, because it's lighter and just better. So, I can't have that. It's it's just not real to me. So, it's finally time, I think, to really start getting into some engine work with this thing. Because, I mean, like I said, besides the exhaust, this is bone stock from 2016. And uh, that's not going to fly anymore. It just isn't. So, the big things we're doing this winter with the Raptor that I've done a bunch of research into that I really want to try out to get some more power out of it is... Uh, we're going to, first of all, do some porting on the head, you know, bigger valves, plus one valves, bigger throttle body, open it right up, really get some fucking power thrown through it. Stage two cam is going to go in here and uh, yeah, just some, the basic motor stuff. I'm not putting, you know, I'm not doing a big bore, nothing, just a little bit of porting, just kind of opening stuff up a little bit to make it a little quicker. And so with all that, and then maybe a bigger throttle body, like a plus two or plus three, um, Really, I should be towards the 65s up to the 70. And hopefully, we might be getting a dyno set up down at our J&K down the road here. So if we get a dyno going, we'll really be able to start showing you guys the power numbers on the uh, Raptor, the LT, the YFC, and the Banshee. And we'll really be able to fucking see who has the fastest quad according to power-wise. So definitely doing that because I definitely need some motor work. Um, but yeah, so when you do engine stuff... You really should do suspension stuff. And while this thing is brand fucking new still, because it's a 2016, and it hasn't gotten ridden that much because I work full-time, go to school full-time, doesn't get ridden in the winter, nothing like that. So, I mean, it sits here a lot in the garage next to my brother's Raptor and the huge fucking palm tree. And so it just sits here. And so now I really need to get some handling stuff done to it because the, I've ridden the YFZ and I've ridden the Banshee, and this is like good because it's brand new still and the shocks are decent but it's still you know it's it's taller i mean if you look at it it's definitely taller the center of gravity is just up more than the banshees are and that's just how they designed it because it's meant to be more trail rated versus race rated and uh i definitely noticed that when we went to geneva this year and did the open day at wednesday night of the flat track with the yfz definitely noticed it's way more tippy than the yfz so i'm done with that and i put these lowering kits in last year you guys probably remember those they uh, they work. Haven't nothing fucking snapped on me yet, and I you know I did the one in the rear as well. But while they're good, and while the stance of the quad looks a shit ton better, it's still not. The handling is now actually it's a little worse because when you hit jumps, everything hurts worse because of the way it's, it works. It just fucking moves the shocks out, so it makes everything fucking hurt and it handles a little worse actually. So. If you're looking for something that's you're not going to lose handling, you know, and you really go through the trails hard like we do at Majestic, I probably wouldn't recommend these. 
I they work good, like I said. Definitely help with the tippiness of the quad. But like, like I said, if you're gonna really beat on it and jump it, and I, it's not, it does not feel good. Your arms hurt after a couple hours. Not fun. So we're gonna change that. And I've done some research into maybe shortening the shocks up. And people actually use like why you know uh, blaster shocks because they're shorter, and that totally lowers the whole quad. And well, I think that's a good idea. I really think I'm going to try to get some extended A arms from uh, Alba Racing because they can give you. They're not that much money. They're pretty affordable. Um, I had good luck with them in the past. So was Joe and everyone. Travis has them on his Banshee, and everyone likes them. So I mean, I think they're like plus two. It should give me an extra four inches in width total which will really help out this thing i'm gonna throw those fucking things right in the garbage because i don't want them anymore and then i may it's depending on how that is so it should be wider then but it's still going to depend on how it's going to be as far as the center of gravity from the top of the quad is because if it's still tippy even though it's wider i'm probably going to have to lower the shocks and basically i would do is either shorten these and then flip this linkage in the back because the way you they do it you can flip this so that way you know that loses your height in the back it just gives you a little more you know so you don't tip as much definitely getting some nerf bars because this is you know we ride these pretty good i've almost ate it a couple times and uh, i mean you can see these things are getting used up anyway really fucking getting my use out of this thing it sucks seeing this thing beat up but yeah definitely could use a graphics kit soon the way i use it so but yeah so that's kind of the big things coming on the rafter this winter um definitely gonna be have videos on the motor stuff because that's huge that's definitely gonna take up a ton of time um now that my car is done put away for the winter i'm pretty much full bore into this stuff into this and getting jet skis and stuff like that getting ready for next spring basically just all everything preparing for the next spring and uh you know there might be a couple videos in the car maybe with some like willwood brake kit upgrades but other than that it'll be pretty much the raptor on the four-wheeler stuff because i know you guys are big into watching this we hope that's why you guys watch us um yeah we're all gonna try to do our best in posting more videos like i said we do all work full time so this is kind of our hobby um but yeah i just want to give an update video on the rafter because it's gonna be a good year i if i can we're, the, you know as soon as aj said he had to make more power when his rings were blown out um travis and i kind of looked at each other like yep we do too now you know we can't let one of us go faster than the rest of us because we're all pretty damn close as it sits right now so that's the big things on the rafter this coming year. We're going to do, like I said, extended A-arms, maybe some shorter shocks. I'm not sure yet. Definitely supporting some bigger valves. You know, I'm going to have send it out to HJR. It's real good guys there. Real knowledgeable in what they're doing. Um, definitely going to send it out. I've had, no people have had really good luck with them before. And, uh, yeah, I'll probably delete the parking brake over the winter because it's fucking useless because you have to adjust it every time you use the rear brake. And... It's, it's just stupid. It's another fucking thing to bring. So, probably going to delete that. Get rid of it. Clean up. That, you know, it's obviously, it's fucking disgusting right now. But it's been used. Like I said, I went to junk day with it. Had a shit ton of fun with it. It Like I said, it ripped past everybody. I didn't race a ton of people with it, but I raced the Banshee. And AJ rode the Banshee a lot for Travis and his place. And really ripped it and raced a ton of people. And he beat everyone on that. And then I beat him on this every time. So, because of that. My gut tells me this is one of the fastest quads that, that we had at Junk Day, which was like an 80-person turnout. So shout out to everyone that came out and hung out with us that day. Excited for next year. Hopefully we get weather that's not like this. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, this is what's coming on the Rafter. Stay tuned to the channel, guys. We appreciate you guys staying with us for this long. We deeply apologize for uh, the slowness of the videos. But trust me, we're, st we're stoked to get back into it. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more videos.